the main disease that we've worked on over the past two decades is a disease called severe combined immune deficiency, or SCID, commonly known as bubble baby disease. And this is a type of genetic disease that affects the white blood cells that fight infections. Babies with skid are born without a functioning immune system and typically will get a very severe infection and not make it past the first year of life if untreated. Fortunately, this is actually the first disease that was treated by bone marrow transplant. So if a baby with skid has a matched brother or sister, they can get bone marrow from them that can grow a whole immune system but most don't have a matched donor. And we can use the parents, we can use an unrelated adult or cord blood, but those have more risks. And so the idea of, of gene therapy came around. We collect some of the baby's own bone marrow, isolate the stem cells, add the gene that they're missing, that their immune system needs, and transplanting it back to them. And we've done a series of trials over the last 20 years, kind of as we, we've done our trials, we've seen what's worked, where the limitations were, improve the technology in the laboratory, and come back to a next trial. And so in the last five and a half years here at UCLA, we've enrolled 12 patients who've had this procedure. And um, it's really been wonderful. We have all these kids that are alive and well and functioning with good immune systems. I think our oldest is in second grade. Um, and then we have our most recent one is now about eight months old. So we've been treating babies primarily and um, it's, it's, it's working. We've changed from, you know, will this ever work to how are we going to follow all these patients? Because now we have a growing family of patients who have had this new treatment, so no one knows what to expect. Questions come up all the time about what vaccines can they get, when can they go out to parties, various other things, and we, we're kind of, with, with the families, work through the answers. You know, the way things work, I think, is that in academic medical centers like UCLA, we do the pilot studies, we work out the new technologies, but for them to reach the worldwide, they need to be commercialized. And, and so we're, we're beginning to discuss how can these approaches be moved from the academic medical center to industry, to pharmaceutical companies to make them available worldwide.